Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and this is yet another MIUI 10 global beta or closed beta video rather. So this is not a global beta, this is basically a testing closed beta that we have. The name of the update or the number of the update is 9.6.3 and I feel and it looks like this might be the last ever update for MIUI 10 global beta and why is that I'll tell you that in the video at the same time I will tell you guys in this particular video why did I remove the link for the oxygen OS beta 10 as well but before we do that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash Let's get going. All right, guys, so welcome to another video and what we are looking at right now is of course the Pocophone F1 which is pretty pretty famous on this channel and first things first yes of course we are talking about yet another closed beta update so let me give you a heads up if you want to flash this you have two ways to do it either you should be signed up as a beta tester with Xiaomi or you can download this particular file from the link in the description copy it to your phone's internal memory and flash it using TWRP custom recovery now in order to have TWRP recovery you will need an unlocked bootloader and uh, I have made a video on how to install TWRP and stuff like that you can follow that video and uh, I can you know before I begin I can assure you guys that this is very much a daily driver and uh, there is no problem as such which will stop you from using this as a daily driver in addition to that it might have a few features which are not available in stable as yet so first things first let's quickly have a look at the about phone section which gives us a glimpse into the details so this is MIUI 10 global beta 9.6.3 and the security patch is 1st of May and of course this one is based on Android Pi as well now we'll quickly have a look at the changelog now the reason we are having a look at the changelog of the entire beta update once and for all is because this may be this very well may be the last ever MIUI 10 global beta update for this device that's the Pocophone F1 because after this update we have a holiday in China and after that we will be in all probability getting a look at the MIUI 11 beta that might be 9.6.2 16 or something like that so MIUI 11 beta is around the corner so be very very excited because as soon as that update rolls out we will be the first one to make a video on it and release it for you all right now if we quickly have a look at all the features that I included in the latest MIUI beta or it has been included in the past or some of them might have made their way into the stable features as of now as well we do have the 5.6 home screen layout new voice over LTE icon Digital well-being has been removed. We do have permanent notification, MIUI style bar change, dark mode has been removed for the Poco F1 and I have been requesting this time and again. Please bring the dark mode back Xiaomi. New game booster that is the MI game booster in Poco. Added special features options. We do have live wallpapers and wall screen. New explorer features. 4K 60fps and 4K 30fps. New touch firmware. Optimization and bug fixes face unlock and app lock and latest Android security patch. So those are all the looks over here. Now if you go to the left over here and if you update this particular app vault, you will notice that you get cricket scores and you know the World Cup, World Cup information and stuff like that. Now apart from this, if you go to gallery and uh, say if you open any of the photos over here and you tap this edit icon, you will see that these icons which are available for editing different things have been updated as well and the security patch is May. So all in all, uh, this is a very, very stable and uh, uh, incremental update. There are no major new features that are included in this particular update. You can go ahead and flash it and use it as a daily driver because that is what I'm gonna do at least today before I get back to Oxygen OS tomorrow. Now, before we wrap this video up, I would like to share some information about the previous video of the Oxygen OS Beta 10. Now, apparently that particular ROM is basically a paid ROM. So the developer would charge you to download that particular ROM and that's the reason I've taken the link down and uh, it is not available unfortunately. I wanted to share it with everyone but then 
he doesn't want that to be done so it's his work and i cannot disrespect that nonetheless uh, that is also an amazing rom and uh, rom reviews will continue on smartphone tutorials if you like this video guys please like share and subscribe as much as you can that supports us really really well until the next one this is kalash signing off with smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye